here and welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering what the heck I'm doing today. It is echoing. I am in my bathroom with the door closed because it's the only peace and quiet I get. And today we are getting dirty. I have nine throw pillows here from my couch in my living room. Now I have washed these many times. I haven't actually put them through the washing machine, but I do use my carpet cleaner on them very often as well as when I like carpet clean my couch. You can see there's some stains on there, probably popsicles, you know, kids, Play-Doh popsicles juice. I don't know. But today I am deep cleaning them and I am so excited. So we are going to do the whole laundry stripping in the tub. The products I'm going to be using, I have four here. I'm going to be using some good old baking soda, some OxyClean with some stain remover power action, my Tide. I have it in here. I just keep it in this little jar. It's just handy and some, you know, instructions of hubby wants to clean or not and some borax fun fact this borax took me months 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 to find my grocery store finally had it picked up i picked it up when i saw it and all is well because this video has been playing guys for months and this is a collaborated video with my friend Corey. so while i get everything i need ready to get this started for you guys take a look at her channel all right guys this is my friend Corey. her channel is loaded with all the cleaning motivation you need to tackle any chore on your to-do list her most recent videos include the christmas takedown and i love the fact that we fold towels the exact same way. Her new makeup series on Sundays is one you're not going to want to miss out on. So when you're done watching my video, check out the description below and head on over to Corey's channel and show her some love. So here's the deal. I'm going to take all four of these products, all four of these, plus these nine pillows, and I'm going to stick them in this tub with steaming hot water. I'm going to give it a little stir around. I have like a little stick that I'm going to stir with, and then I'm going to let them sit. Don't mind my grout. Oh my goodness, guys. Ah, especially right there. This is another day and another video. But today we got some laundry to strip. We're not even stri stripping laundry here, guys. We are doing it. We are going in dirty. We are getting these done. And I am so excited. I don't know why I am praying that these come out like black, black and the water is gross. <laughs> it would be really gross, but it would be so satisfying and well worth the view of this video, I would say. All right, so let's get this tub filled up with hot, hot water, add our ingredients, and stir this bad boy up. Now that that's all in there, I'm going to use this extra broom handle that I had laying around to give this a good stir. And also, if you're wondering, I didn't have any clue as to how much I should put in there, so I took a guess and I used one cup. Because the detergents I used are powders, I wanted to make sure that they were all disintegrated before putting the pillows in. See guys, there's always a method to my madness. If you're here from Corey's channel, welcome. My name is Kat. I am a mom of three wife and and hairstylist from Ontario, Canada. If you love real life cleaning motivation, I can promise you my channel will not disappoint. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments below where you're from. I love interacting with everybody and I think it's super cool to see where everyone is watching from. Guys, this is probably the grossest thing that I have ever seen. Oh my goodness. This is straight up looks like swamp water right here. What I'm going to do is mush all these around. They've been sitting for about an hour and a half now. I'm going to mix it all up, flip it over as much as I can, let them sit for a couple more hours, and then I'm going to put them in the washing machine. That is just so gross, this water here. I'm going to put them in the washing machine on a rinse and spin cycle before putting them into the dryer. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have laundry stripped anything because I am 
super curious to know. Let me know if you have any videos uh, that have to do with laundry stripping because I would love to go wash them because I think guys that this is now my new obsession. I am going to be laundry stripping everything in my house. Oh my God, could you imagine mattress covers? Oh, this would be so... Uh, the things going on in my head right now of what I can clean in this house is amazing. And you guys will just have to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to be able to see what I'm going to have coming in the future as well as this grout that is surrounding this bathtub. So give this video a thumbs up and I'm going to continue stirring this. Let this sit for a bit and we'll catch up a bit later. This is what four hours of soaking these pillows looks like. The water is disgusting. I cannot even believe it. All right, I had to think about how I was going to get all of these downstairs. So what I did is I grabbed a ginormous bin. I'm going to put all of the pillows in this bin and lug them downstairs. Chris may have to help me because I think it's going to weigh a thousand pounds. All right, so I'm gonna drain this tub, empty this out, empty out the pillows, drain the tub, because I wanna see if there's any like stuff on the bottom of the, um, on the bottom of the tub. I'm just interested to see. So let's get that done now. cat hair I'm actually quite impressed now the mission is I gotta get all these towels downstairs to the laundry room all right guys getting those pillows downstairs was actually way easier than I thought it was going to be however not ideal when I have a bunch of kids sleeping upstairs because I just let that bin slide down the stairs and when I finally got it to the laundry room with Chris's help we were able to fit three pillows in the washing machine at a time which was okay because we wanted to make sure that they had a really good rinse and spin cycle when they were done which I think only took about 30 minutes I transferred them over into the dryer on my hottest setting that I had which again took around 30 minutes to dry and we ended up repeating this three times because or sorry two times after this first time because we had nine pillows in total and they turned out phenomenal to touch them guys they feel like they are brand new right off of the showroom floor the day that we got them they held up their shape so well i do believe that it was the tumbling in the dryer that helped them however i did have a one pillow casualty right here that did hold its shape that good but whatever it's nice and clean and i will say that if that zipper wasn't fake this process would have been a heck of a lot easier. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Head on over to Corey's channel, show her some love, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>